Jim. <laughs> Watch this. Is this true? recording, dude? Alright, check this out, what we got here. Get a close up on this. This is a Blade CX2 401 receiver, gyro, ESC, BEC, all that junk. And you got your stupid three cell battery that I had laying around. You got your elevator servo, controls the elevator, and the two Blade CX2 motors have the propulsion and their servos for the elevator one. Get a close up view. Give me some specs here. How would you recommend for someone to make this tail section? Uh, it's a little bit But basically you just found a, a way to make it move. So you have it basically pivoting on that yeah. bar while it's... And I shoved a horn through the thumb, through the other side. So you got your linkage right here. Yeah, you got the linkage. So it basically runs up to the server. So you hooked up this heat sink. Yeah. How long did it take you to do this? Five hours. Right on. Too long. Yeah. Practice makes perfect. It's bouncy. Palo flexes, huh? See when I was turning, it was like this. <coughs> no, dude, um, rockets. Got plan D. I think it was that. Plan C. Actually, you put the rocket up here, facing that way. So you can melt your tail? Yeah. Now I'm going to go ahead and show the viewers a little bit of detail on this foam plane. This is simply just a foam glider. Probably people go to a hobby store, pick one up for the kids, get it for about 10 bucks. Just added a couple motors. So if you have a crash blade CX2, you can put your guts from the, the helicopter into this plane and destroy your, your equipment. And if you're good enough, you can swap out your parts and put it back together, fly whatever you want to fly. Right. You're good. I like how these little servos did, how I put them in the air lines. Those, they're my favorite. I've never done that before. I'm going to do that from now on. Look how simple that makes it. I'll get to you. It's just foam, guys. It's crashed a few times. It's still going. Obviously, no landing gear. This is why we fly it on grass. Got to remember, we could always put landing gear on something like this, but we didn't exactly take too much weight. extreme motors here and do amazing things. This is basically RC recycling. So, yeah. what you see is what you get. We took a bunch of parts, threw together an idea and executed our plan. Amen. Amen. Watch if I see you forget to record it. Yeah. Still pretty good though, huh? Yeah. It's flying, bro. Stall. Looks like a jet up there. I know it does. We'll glide it down. It flies all weird, dude. I don't, I don't get it, what it's doing. It's your beta version, man. This is your first one. Like, it can't be that heavy. It is. Look how it stalls. Damn. There's so, I need something. I know what it is. I think I need a bigger rudder, dude. What do you think? Light number two. We're going for a full power shot. So who knows what it's going to do. Beautiful, man. 
Sounds like a sport. This is a sport mode, by the way. I never knew. Where I get pretty aggressive. I never knew what styrofoam sounded like when you flex it so much. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This thing just falls, dude.